Welcome to the Halloween edition of Nuggets of Nostalgia. And tonight, I have a special treat for all you boys and ghouls out there. So, what am I going to review tonight? Well, I happen to revisit a certain show from the early 90s, and that, boys and ghouls, is none other than Swamp Thing. Now, Swamp Thing started out as a comic book from DC, then there were two movies, a live-action series aired on USA, a series of action figures, and two shitty video games for the NES and Game Boy. Now, about the cartoon. It was produced by Deke Entertainment, lasting for five episodes. Yes, five freaking episodes, meaning it had a brief run and it was a short-lived series. It was featured on NBC during Chip and Pepper's Cartoon Madness in the fall of 1991. So without any further, let us begin with the first episode. The Unmen Unleashed. Two teenage boys have been kidnapped by Dr. Arcane's goons and are held hostage. There they meet Arcane's stepdaughter, Abby, who looks like Jem from Jem and the Holograms. She explains a backstory of a scientist by the name of Alec Holland who created a secret formula. That is when Arcane and his cronies trashes the lab, which causes Alec to become part human, part plant, and possesses supernatural powers over nature known as Swamp Thing, and Abby wants to help Alec to become human once again. Wait, where have I heard that before? It sounds rather familiar. But one day we're gonna find him, and force him to make our master human once more. Figures. Not to mention, I did happen to hear familiar voices from one of the characters. Len Carlson, who voiced Swamp Thing, did the voice of Aloe and Quackpot on Dinosaucers, plus Ganon from The Legend of Zelda and Captain N, the Game Master. Jonathan Potts, who did Delbert, also did the voice of Link. Excuse me, princess! Harvey Atkin, who voices Tomahawk, also did the voice of... Now, my boy, let me give you some more lessons on how to lie and cheat. <laughs> yep, Bowser and Tri Clyde from the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. And as for Gordon Maston, he voiced Skin Man, plus he also did a certain character that we know who sounds just like him. You're a royal penny, and we need your cage for our prisoners! That's right, my friends, Big Mouth Koopa. And he was Staraco from Dinosaurs. To live forever. Dr. Arcane uses a chemical to make himself immortal, but he needs more Zingu tree sap in order to do that. I also discover that Swamp Thing is weakened to pollution. Now, do we know someone who has a weakness to pollution? Yeah. Plus, Skin Man makes a rhyme. You're the sap, Swamp Thing! The Muck Man's lost it! He'll be exhausted! Hey, Demo! I made a rhyme! You sure do for the guy who sounds like Big Mouth Koopa. Also, for the first time, Arcane mutates. Except that he mutates only once. Falling Red Star. A nuclear satellite has crashed into the swamp. Arcane steals the energy and makes his unmen not only more powerful, but also invincible. And to make matters worse, Swampy and Tomahawk must cure Bayou Jack, who has become a mutant scyther, back to a human once again. Plus, Delbert tells a bad joke. Yeah! Time for us to leave! Get it? Leave! It's a fun joke! It'll grow on ya! <laughs> that was so bad, it turned Swampy green! Just like this show, it's so bad it's funny. Legend of the Lost Cavern. Dr. Arcane kidnaps Tomahawk by telling him where the Lost Cavern is, which is located by the waterfall, and it is the home of the Fountain of Youth. Arcane drinks the fountain and has finally succeeded. At last! I've done it! I have reversed my age! I have achieved my immortality! But not for long! What do you say, you fool? Look at me! I'm young! I'm handsome! I... 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 Once again, Arcane has failed. Well, that wraps up my Halloween edition of Nuggets of Nostalgia. Yeah, I did apologize for not talking about the last episode. And to close, this cartoon may not be great, but it did have familiar voice actors, and it was funny. So until then, I hope you folks have a safe, happy Halloween, and I shall see you all next time.